Oh yeah! What is up everyone? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking because I'm going to New York City this weekend for the US's World Cup qualifier at Red Bull Arena on Friday night against the Ticos of Costa Rica, baby. Now the Ticos are second in the table. We're in third. We're three points behind them. So we need all three of these points to get closer to qualifying for Russia and I know that we can do it. Also, I might do a pickup game on Saturday afternoon so be on the lookout if you're in New York City or New Jersey. And then I'm heading to LA for the 18th year or 19th year of my fantasy football draft with all my friends that I grew up with from back home. It's always a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing them. And then I'm heading to Miami to do stuff with BN Sports around the US and Mexico's World Cup qualifiers on September 5th. And then I'm heading to London for a week for an event with EA, so I should probably do a pickup game there. So let me know if you guys want me to do it. And then, of course, there's this. It's the very curious news from around the globe with the amazing Conrad Very curious news, Adam. Number one, Manchester City are reportedly willing to part ways with Raheem Sterling and some cash in exchange for Alexis Sanchez. And my initial reaction is that some cash is probably a better finisher in front of goal than Raheem Sterling. Also, Arsenal already have a speedy English winger who finds himself in great positions only to not have any composure in front of goal and just misses sitter after sitter. And his name is Theo Walcott. So why in the f would Arsene Wenger want to add another one of those types of players to his roster Unless, of course, he's completely f***ing with his supporters now, which could very well be true. Very curious news item number two. Ushman Dembele can't keep C up for shit. Or we call it juggling over here. Also, I love that he tried to redeem himself with a double-legged flick over his head, and he messed that up too. It's pretty sweet. Very curious news item number three. Roma finally makes a big move. After losing their manager to Inter Milan, their best players to other clubs, their legend to retirement, and their last game 3-1 at home to their former manager and Inter Milan, Roma finally decided to do something so they could be competitive this season by signing Sampdoria striker Patrick Schick. Schick. Chic. For a club record 40 million euros, which is incredible seeing how Sampdoria just purchased him the year before for 4 million euros. So that is some good business for Sampdoria. But they lose a player who is deadly in front of goal. He scored 11 goals in Serie A last season and who should be a nice compliment to Edin Dzeko. But, I'm gonna say but again, I still don't think it's enough for Roma to do something of consequence this season. Very curious news item number four. David Villa is back with the Spanish national team and yes, vamos! The 35 year old striker for NYCFC who just happens to be the reigning MLS MVP because he's been tearing it up in North America ever since he arrived. Got recalled to Spain's national team for the first time since they got knocked out of the 2014 World Cup in Brazil and rightfully so, he is buzzing. And I'm buzzing because I appreciate Spain's national team manager Julian Lopetegui recognizing that David's 19 goals in 24 games this season in MLS is worthy of a call up. And maybe I crave this too much. I probably do crave it too much, but this decision to bring him in for me validates that MLS is a competitive league and deserves respect. And that's all I'm looking for is some respect because I know it's not the top league in the world, but it's doing everything in its power for the most part to try to get there. Also, I hope two other things. One, that David plays so well that he proves that his sharpness and class and quality hasn't dropped since the last time he played for Spain. And two, I hope Italy considers recalling another player who is killing it in the league, Sebastian Jovinko, because the guy really has some special qualities. All right, that's it, so keep it here. Come back tomorrow and let me know if you wanna do a pickup game in New York this weekend and London the week after that, and we'll make it happen. Later. <laughs>